Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Uh, hope everything's going well. Hope life's going good. Uh, it's crazy, uh, crazy time to, to be alive. So, um, hope nobody's struggling too much. Uh, either way, welcome back. Um, this video, we're going to work on the wheel wells, get those cleaned up, get them painted. Um, we're going to start assembling the suspension. Uh, I don't know if you remember quite a few videos ago, way in the beginning of the process when I tore everything apart, rebuilt the suspension, and uh, or restored it. I haven't put it back together yet. So, so that's what we'll be doing in this video. Put the suspension back together, and finally, 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 we are going to start installing or and probably complete installing uh, the disc brakes, which are the Willwood disc brakes. So I'll do a little how-to on uh, installing or do a brake conversion. So so yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, but at least we'll have a we'll have a little video of it now. So so yeah, uh, stick around, enjoy, and. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so... Alright, so... Time to continue on the suspension. We're gonna just, um... It's a little rusty, it's not too bad, it's mainly just dirty. Um... So... Clean some of this crap off. Uh... Flake off whatever's loose. Whatever. Um, maybe hit it with a wire wheel. And then, uh... Spray with some bed liner. So, and once that's done, we're gonna try to assemble the suspension. A little sneak peek in there of what's going on. Might have to pull that out again before I start painting, but, uh, but yeah, well, we're working on the engine at the same time as, as this. So, right, here we go. Look at that. that looks pretty dang good. Got it all painted. Actually, instead of using a bed liner, I used undercoating. 
figured that'd be a little more appropriate and I had more of that than I did of bed line. So I did this side and I did the driver's side also. Uh, looking pretty good. Now time to assemble, reassemble the suspension that I took apart half a year ago. Um, so yeah, if you guys uh, don't remember that video, go check it out. Took everything apart, uh, rebuilt basically the control arms, got new new bushings for it and stuff, um, new ball joints. So yeah, I will put a link for that video below or uh, in the comments or wherever. Now you guys can go check that one out. Yeah. And then this video, we're going to be assembling it. Yeah. Yeah. Today. Today? Yeah. Let's stand over there. A little better lighting. Yeah. yeah. So what are we going to do? Um, we build all we, all we, we build. Build our wheels and... There's the other one going crazy. That? Um, also, in this video, we're finally going to be installing the Willwood brakes. And uh, make, make sure that they work and fit properly. I still have to buy all the um, the, the brake hoses and stuff like that. But, yeah. but we'll see. And then there's all the, you know, minus the kids' sand buckets. There's all the rebuild suspension parts. So, so yeah, let's get to assembly. All right, so time, 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 time to finally start installing the control arms. Um, I don't know if you remember one of my first videos, I was rebuilding these control arms, new ball joints and all, new bushings. Um, I actually didn't finish it last time. I just finished with the bushings. Um, there's the upper control arm. These bushings were a pain to install because you can't just press it in. You can do one side, but the other side you really can't because the um, shaft or whatever you want to call it goes right there in the way. So yeah, that was that was it's a pain a pain in itself. But either way got that in so now we're gonna try to install the the lower control arm um once that's in we'll get the spring on there <sighs> and then attach it to the upper control arm so yeah here we go So the control arms are in, the spindle is in, spring, shock, um, I'm still waiting on the uh, bump stop for here, it's going to go underneath there, um, and then the two bolts to go up there, uh, those are loose just because I still need, uh, there's just little alignment tabs that go in there and then 
I'm thinking of getting new uh, new bolts for that, but I can do that later. So for now, we're gonna start installing the brakes. So here's the all the random little pieces um, for the brakes. There's the the hub bearings came with new bearings there's a bracket more bearings hardware uh, there's the um, pistons or whatever it's called caliper um, so yeah and we're gonna install them so here we go all right so The spacer that comes in the kit. Yeah, uh, per the instructions, got this little groove that's supposed to go inside. I'm assuming just because that is rounded. So that'll go right there. Um, and then got the rotor. Bearing is supposed to go in there. Um, let's put some grease in there. It has to be high temp grease brake grease but I got some high temp bearing grease which is the same thing I guess uh, so yeah I'll just pack it in there and the grease you can get at any store any auto store at least So the instructions says to put this oil seal on in here, but it looks like it needs to get pressed in here. So I'm planning on pressing it in right away, and uh, then just sliding the whole thing over. I think that'll be a lot easier. on the seal so that doesn't get damaged I guess I could put some on the shaft um, all right so I'll leave that for now now there's this bracket um, we're just gonna install it for now it comes with the little spacers. It's just really thin washers to level everything out. Um, but for now, we'll just install it the way it is and see if that's enough or not. should pre-pack pre-pack it with grease 
So that's what we'll do. Just like that. And we have a washer. And the nut, if I can get it on. Come on. Well, we can deal with that a little bit later. Um, that's looking pretty good. Spins nice and good. Okay. Alright, got the nut on. Tightened it. And then one of the things you're supposed to do is check your alignment right here. So that this bracket has to be parallel to the mm, to the hub. Um, and if you remember earlier, the, the three spacers that I put up here, uh, thinking that it needed it because it had it had space here. Well, basically, it wasn't um, was it aligned. I removed the three spacers, and now uh, now it's almost perfect. So got a little ruler. It's kind of hard to do this two-handed, but either way. I can't even focus. Um, whatever. Doesn't even matter. Uh, it's pretty parallel. So, at least according to the ruler it is. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to put on the, the caliper. And then try to align all that. And then once that's all good, we know everything. we got to take everything apart again. And i got to lock tight all the bolts. And uh, I think the torque was like uh, 40 foot pounds. Uh, I think the top one is 60, the rest of them are at 40, so, but, um, but yeah, we'll talk about that when we get there. Let's get this caliper on. Alright, there's a the caliper, got the pads in here, um, they're pretty easy, easy to put in. Basically, it's got a, a long, uh, pin that prevents it from sliding out this way for installation. Um, and they just slide in. They're pretty easy. So, nothing too difficult. Um, but either way. Oh wait, huh, I did this wrong. I did it wrong, I'm over here trying to tell you guys how to do this. Um, that's what this hole is for. It's for the pin. And that'll hold it in completely. Amazing. Well, there it is. Now they're definitely not going to come out. So, either way, a pretty simple system. Uh, so that sits like that. Um, then get the hardware. Um, it says to start off with shims, two shims on each uh, between each bolt. So that's what we'll do, and go from there. And we'll try to check how level it is, or uh, how centered it is. 
hopefully we're lucky and uh, it's pretty centered. centered should be about two about two I'm pretty dang close I mean I'm using washers to to center it it's probably not the most high-tech uh, way of doing it but it works so wheel spins freely so that's good I got the nut on there. Uh, so basically now I know what it needs, how much it needs. Uh, what I need to do is put a Loctite on everything. Take it apart, put a Loctite on it, and uh, call it good. Let me double check. It's pretty close. Between all four corners. Feels like it's a tiny bit tighter right here than it is up here. That's good, and that's good. This bottom corner, for some reason, feels a little bit tighter. But, uh, oh well. Because everything else feels identical. It's just that one corner. So, it's okay. I think it'll be fine. Cool. We'll take everything apart and torque it. Alright, so that'll be it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys maybe learned something. Um, at least now there's there's going to be a little video of how to do disc brake conversion for the front. I'm not sure if there is or isn't. Maybe there is. I don't know. Uh, I didn't look into it too much. Uh, but either way, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Um, thanks for commenting, uh, and likes and everything. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and it, I don't know, helps me move on, helps me keep going, I guess. Keeps me motivated. So, thank you for that. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, next video we will get to start, or we'll get the engine mounted. And the transmission mounted. Um, I ordered a bunch of parts for that. Um, so stick around uh, and you'll see. We'll see how it is putting an LS in a, an old Thunderbird. Not too many of those out there. So thanks for watching.